A while back, I was introduced to the world of custom keyboards by my friend and grandmaster, Will, which you may have also seen him in my previous video where we ran 14 kilometers together. I really love the idea of creating something yourself and building something as it gives you a deeper appreciation for what you have and made, but also allows you to pour some of your creativity and personalization into that object. So in this video, we're going to build my first custom keyboard and thanks to Bea and Will for helping me with sourcing the parts and getting this build done. Kicking it off, there are a few main pieces you'll need to build a keyboard. Number one being a PCB and a case. And for this build, Bea actually gifted me this for my birthday, which is the Keychron Q1. It is an aluminum case, so it's quite heavy on my desk, so it doesn't really move around too much. The next part you'll need is the switches to actually go in the sockets to make your buttons actually press. And these come in two main flavors, both linear and tactile. The ones I chose was tactile as it has a bump before you actually press the bottom of the keyboard. And so that way it just gives you a little bit more feedback compared to linear switches, which will go straight down. And these come in various brands. The ones I got for this build was purple lavender switches by Akko. Finally, keycaps, which do range both in price and in quality, but the ones I chose for this build are the Akko Carbon Set, which I do think looks really nice. On top of the parts for the actual keyboard itself, I also ended up getting some tools, which I bought this one off Amazon, which worked really well, so I'll make sure to leave it in the description. On top of that, I did need to buy some lube, some pads for the stabilizers, and I also bought some PE foam later in the video. And then finally, I bought a switch puller, which is from Ramaworks. And with all the pieces acquired, we can start putting this together. And the first step is to lube the switches. This goes a little something like first getting one switch and opening it on the switch opener, and then lubing each individual component inside there, making sure not to touch any of the legs if you do have tactile switches, and then close it up and move on to the next switch. I think there's about 80 something switches in this board, so it does take a little bit of time, but I think it does pay off because it reduces the ping of each individual switch and it glides a little bit better as you're typing. Next up is stabilizers and these are for your longer keys such as space bar, enter and shift and we're going to use the stock ones but just adding a little bit extra lube and putting pads underneath it on the PCB to make it not hit the bottom and rattle or anything which bugged me in my previous mechanical keyboard. Finally, once everything is lubed, we are ready to put in some PE foam, which I picked up from Bunnings and put in between the PCB and the switches. So that way the switches can rest on something soft and not going to rattle around or anything. It did take a little bit of finicking and playing around with because I couldn't get the switches sometimes to connect with the PCB, but after removing a little bit of foam, it worked out really well. finally did it, we built our very first custom keyboard and now we can get rid of the piece of junk on my table and replace it with this awesome guy. The cool thing about the Q1 is that it does come with a coiled cable as well, which you can plug just straight in the top here. And right next to that, if you are looking to use a Mac, then you can switch it to Mac or Windows. If you're looking to build one for the first time yourself, I would say go for it. It's actually not as daunting as I thought it would be. Definitely having Will there by my side to answer any questions was super helpful, but I think you should be able to look up most things online, especially there's so many keyboard videos out there to help you along. So wrap this video up, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comments below, or if you've made your own custom keyboard, make sure to ping me on Instagram or otherwise you can stick around and watch my type test. Bye.